Hello and welcome to My Lie Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and it's that time of the week when we see how the tank's doing. The big news is, none of my tanks are showing any signs of ick, and they haven't shown signs of ick in a couple of weeks. So what has likely happened is they've developed their slime coats enough to rid off the parasites. So does that mean that there is no ick in my system? I think it's very unlikely that I have completely eliminated ick. But for the time being, the fish are happy, healthy, and not showing any signs of ick. My powder blue has been in quarantine for about three weeks. He's been treated with copper and he's in great health. He hasn't shown any signs of ick and I'm lowering the copper medication at this point. Just to make sure that I set him up for as much success as possible, he will be in here for another three weeks. So in the quarantine is our new fish. This is an Albadensis Springer Eye Hybrid from ORA. He's a really cool fish. My wife saw him, fell in love with him, so we had to get him. He's beautiful. Now, the thing about Dottiebacks is they can be a little troublesome. They like to fight. But this guy's going in a tank that'll eventually have five tangs in it, so I don't think it'll be a problem. It's taken a while, but everything has fully recovered from when the power head fell off. The sand is still a bit of a mess, but because of the way the new flow pattern is, there's not a lot I can do about it. But all the corals are glued back on, everything is opening up fully, and everything looks great. The big bonus is, I now have a bunch more room for Euphelia. So I guess there's always a silver lining to every cloud. The only bad thing that's happened in the tank is my Sabay anemone parked next to my cold coral. And the cold coral kind of tolerated it for a week or two. But over the last few days, it was really looking bad. So I ended up pulling the whole rock out and sticking the whole rock downstairs in the frag tank to hopefully make the Sabay anemone move. That worked brilliantly. Put the new rock in, Sabay anemone had new light, new water flow, so it left. What I didn't anticipate was one of the large long tentacle anemones ended up coming onto the rock. So I ended up having to work to get the long tentacle off. So that was a pain. But I did manage to get the long tentacle anemone off, the colt corals back in the main display, and hopefully this guy will make a full recovery and be the foot tall coral that he is. The 24 gallon is coming along slowly. As you'll notice, the corals don't look very good right now, and that's for two reasons. First, we didn't buy the best corals out there. These were the cheap corals from the going out of business sale, and it's kind of the bottom of the barrel stuff. Now, I have every hope that we'll bring these around. The toadstools have shed open, and I believe they're gonna shed again. The chalice coral is starting to look pretty good. It's changing colors. I hope it comes out of it. And we did end up moving the bird's nest because it was starting to bleach out. In all honesty, probably the big problem with this tank is we put stuff in way before it was time. I am so impressed by how well the little five gallon tank's doing. It just continues to knock it out of the park. Even corals like Ganiapora, which tend to struggle in most people's tank, continue to do well in this little five gallon nano. The biggest success for the 210 gallon tank has got to be the SPS section. Eight, nine months ago, my money pores had this brown algae growing on them. They've lost most of their color. They looked terrible. Then I added the T5 setup and fried all my bird's nest and everything had just gone to crap. Well, it's taken me eight months, but everything is fully recovered. It's growing quickly. The colors are amazing. And today I am just so happy with what it looks like. All in all, it's been a good couple of weeks of reefing. Everything's doing extremely well. I've gotten a new fish, and I'm really happy with the way things are going. So thank you for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.